What's up, guys? It's Gathalion, and there's been a lot of guff lately. Um, guff? Is that a word? About my level one basic repeater video in the Will It Bore series, and whether or not it was legit. So, today I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration, and then a how the fuck this happened type sort of thing for you guys. To really break down um, what I'm doing to bore Hyperius and how it's possible with the most basic of weaponry. So, as you saw, I pulled off what I call the God Bore, which is where all of the hitboxes are overlapping correctly and you take them out outright. Now, just to sort of demonstrate that there's no cheat engine going on, you, um, you cannot change health values once an enemy is spawned. So here is a spawned loader. I'm gonna shoot him a little bit. Obviously, I'm not gonna kill him very fast because I'm not gonna use cheat engine in a video and not be outright about it, not tell you, hey, I'm using cheat engine to do something different. I'm not gonna cheat you guys in my videos. They are all legit. These are legit mechanics that you can go pull off on your platform. So as you can see, I am using a level one basic repeater. It doesn't show its level because level one gear does not show its level. Just like if you load into the game and you you go get a, um, a legendary pistol off of Knuckle Dragger, it's not gonna show its level because it's level one. I am using a Bone of Ancients to lower my cooldown, and I'm using a very basic long bow slag singularity grenade. So you don't need like a Quasar for this. Just uh, any singularity grenade, preferably longbow with zero fuse. Um, let's take a look at um, uh, my spec that I'm using. Also, I want to say that there is no weapon merging. None of these weapons that I'm using in my inventory, I didn't have any spare slots to throw them into. It's just gear there. None of them would benefit the others. So here is my spec layout. A lot of people ask, Goth, what are you using to bore? What spec are you using? Well. Spec and Tabor. That's it. Uh, there's a few other things I pick up just to help me out a little bit. Velocity is great for certain weapons. Other weapons, velocity will get in the way of your bore um, because of the way it might affect the projectile spread. Uh, and then you're looking at... Um, I did not use Deathmark. There was no Kunai, so this is not an 80% damage buff. And of course, my badass rank is turned off, as you saw there. And so now, let's go back... And we're gonna play the kill in super slow motion. And then we're gonna go over the exact mechanics of how this works. So hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, so obviously the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pull Hyperius. Once you pull him, you're gonna wanna run to the pipe that's directly to your left so you can sort of get cover from his very first Nova because that Nova will fuck you up. After that, you're gonna wanna throw your deception into the wall because that'll sort of help in um, holding the enemy's positions because they tend to not chase a target that is on the other side of a wall. It's a little cheap, but I mean, we're killing Hyperius on a one hit here with a level one repeater. So, you know, as long as we're using real mechanics and not at cheat engine, then all is fair. Um, again, there's no gun stacking or anything like that. You're gonna wanna throw a series of your singularity grenades to pull enemies to a desirable position. I get them into absolute perfect position here, which I'll show in a diagram. Then you're gonna wanna shoot straight through all of the hitboxes as they overlap, and each time the bullet passes through a plane, it will multiply the damage. Bore is multiplicative. So every time it goes through a plane, it pretty much even just a pixel of a hitbox, it will double the damage. And since um, the hitboxes all overlap and they are large hitboxes with Hyperius, uh, you're gonna get what is pretty much exponential damage and that's how you chain hit that damage cap. So we're gonna take a look at a few diagrams real quick and really try to break it down for you guys even better than the slow motion kill did. All right, so we're gonna take a, a bird's eye aerial view of Hyperius, and obviously this is where he spawns in his arena, and once you pull him, he will get four minion bots that spawn around him in a sort of X shape. Now, what you wanna do is, is when you're running in, you wanna throw your grenades to sort of pull the bots in on Hyperius. 
I throw the first one off to the right and towards the back one. Uh, the second grenade, I'll uh, try to pull them all forward, pulling the rear bots on top of Hyperius. And then the third one, you're going to want to pull the forward bots back on top of Hyperius, and the rear bots will then be pulled even closer. Now, hopefully, if you can pull off this grenade maneuver, you might take a few tries. It'll get all of the bots' hitboxes overlapping on Hyperius, and this is really key. So we're going to zoom in closer and sort of take a look at, you know, exactly where you want your shot to be placed and exactly how uh, the bore works when these hitboxes overlap. Because you have five hitboxes that are overlapping here. This does not work on every enemy. This works really well on Hyperius because they are large enemies and your projectile can pass through multiple hitboxes multiple times in a very short amount of time. So every time your bullet passes through a plane of, of hitbox or even a pixel of a hitbox, it will get multiplied. And it can keep passing through and weaving through these hitboxes almost an infinite amount of times because of how these enemies are shaped and how these hitboxes work on Hyperius. This is not a, uh, this is, this is not a, a glitch within bore this is this is basically um a, a poor poorly designed hitbox situation for hyperius so yeah the shot you're going to want to get it through all of the hitboxes and it's you can't just think of it like oh that's only passing through five hitboxes it is passing through five different hitboxes hundreds and hundreds of times just because of how hitboxes work in Borderlands, so you can take a weapon that does 11 damage, the worst weapon in the game, and then you can see in this slow motion kill, it hitting hit cap several times, which is what's making Hyperius just melt. So yeah guys, you want to get it through all the hitboxes as cleanly as possible, and this is really the best way I can show you, this is, this is gonna be it. Um, I can't get any more in depth than this. It's not simply five hitboxes. It's five hitboxes hundreds and hundreds of times just exponentially multiplying that damage. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, there was no cheat engine used. I didn't use a B shield. I'm using an 11 damage pistol, and this is how it's done. So if there are still any more doubts on the legitimacy of my basic repeater level one bore kill of Hyperius, please leave it in the comments below and um, we'll try to work it out. I'll try to explain it better. I'll get Baru in here to try to explain it to you if you want an outside point of view. If we want to get Mac in here, he'll explain it. But this is legit. This is how it works. And this is how you can go out with pretty much any weapon in the game that will bore. Um, uh, uh, weapons that won't bore, things like rocket launchers, uh, dart pistols, anything that explodes on impact will not bore an enemy. But anything that is a simple projectile, the thicker the projectile, the better. Because the projectile will then pass through more planes. Like the, uh, the Grog Nozzle has a really, really thick projectile. And it will pass through so many hitboxes so many times that it, I've accidentally killed Hyperius while I was uh, um, just you know trying to heal up on a melee kill. So that's that's gonna be it guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe the will it bore series will continue i just wanted to give you a really in-depth look at how this is done slow it down for you really show those damage caps being hit with a level one repeater and that's the basic starter pistol the worst weapon in the game and give you guys some diagrams on on how it works so again don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Will It Bore.